Greetings folks, the man here, and welcome back to 100 Days in Alexis Mobs. Now this is a really really special episode because this is the first episode that has been uploaded after a channel has hit a monumental goal. I'm gonna talk about what the massive thing happened in a few moments, but right now what I really need you to know is to watch the video till the end. But like, no, this is not a joke, because at the end of the video there's like re something really important. Like, like plot to this entire 100 Days thing that you need to know. Watch it till the end! Now this video unfortunately begins with a continuity error. The footage you're seeing right now is supposed to be later, but, but I lost the footage for now. So this is just... The video begins right now. For hundreds and thousands of years, men have toiled. But this, this is the pinnacle. That jump. We have invented technology like no other. We have invented machines like no other. But this jump. This jump, this unnaturally difficult jump is nothing but a segue to the 1,000 subscriber celebration! I was chilling in New Greece with the captain of my army, an army freshly assembled. Then I went down to the Temple of Mike and put down some gold. You know, just religious duties. All of them in preparation for one thing. I needed to go on a mining trip. Because I did not have enough diamonds and they're kind of a big deal in Minecraft. <laughs> I went down into the caves and one of the first things I found was a spider spawner really close to my house which, along with the zombie spawner, is now two that I have. I quickly put down some torches to stop any mobs from spawning, and then I started looting the chests. I got this chest plate called the Wither chest plate, which is actually pretty good, and also this crazy looking bow called, called the Haunted Bow. What I found in the other chest isn't really significant, but this skeleton was killed by the zombie. I mean, kind of stupid, then I just jumped down and janitored him. It's pretty sad, actually. But then something happened that triggered my trauma. After successfully getting rid of the demon bug, got back to mining. Got got back to what I came down here for. I hate those big things. But then I was overjoyed. Diamonds found them in the bag. I got them. Now I know the meme is no YouTuber mines on camera. Because mining is literally the most boring thing you can do. I didn't do it, okay? I, I'm just gonna cut to me fighting two armored zombies because that is more exciting than Literally anything that happens underground, except fighting big centipedes. That's actually entertaining. After getting rid of all my peril, I got back home and started dumping all my stuff in the chest and started smelting gold. Now what I'm smelting gold for is to complete the Temple of Mike. And I'm completing the Temple of Mike because I need his blessing. Because I'm going into the nether. <laughs> And that place is not kind. I, also using the diamonds that gathered from the caves, assembled a set of diamond armor. It wouldn't come in handy at the moment, but it would come in handy later. I wasn't taking it to the nether, god no, it's my best gear, I'm not losing it that quick. I'm not get, I'm not taking it to the nether till it's netherite. Okay, which is something I will do in the next episode, because we're, today we're doing adventure stuff. <laughs> so they were going doing cool adventure stuff. You know, I don't really keep my chests organized in the game. It's kind of just random crap thrown anywhere I want it. But not this time. Diamond stuff is sacred, okay? I arrange it properly. 
by the time I dealt with all the diamond stuff, my gold ore had turned into gold ingots, which I then promptly turned into gold blocks. Because those, as at Mike, Mike's temple, you know, you know what I'm doing at this point in time. I got to the temple, but this absolute goof had gotten himself stuck in the half-finished floor. I don't know if being stuck in Mike's temple makes him blessed, or does Mike curse him, because I, I don't know how, like, the Lord works in mysterious ways. After getting out that man, I put down the gold into the floor, and I began to rang the ceremonial golden bells, after which Mike appeared to me from the heavens in this totally unedited clip. A clip that is taken purely from the game, no editing done. And he told me that I had his blessing. So I went ahead and I repaired the nether portal and finally lit it. After lighting the portal, I just kind of stood there dopely looking at it. I don't know why. But then I was like, I, I really want to check out the spawn. I wanted to see what was on the other side. So I jumped in and got kind of nervous because I was in this like weird ravine cliff thing. And then I heard a ghast. So, so, so I ran back to the overworld because I had no gear. The gear was the next issue I needed to tackle. What I had right now was just insufficient for the nether. I would have to enchant my stuff. And to do that, I needed an enchantment table. So in order to make an enchantment table, you need obsidian, which I already had, which I took, which I sneakily took from the corners of the portal while I was in the nether. It's not really a free way to mine obsidian. Then I needed a book for which I needed leather and paper. In order to get paper, I'd need sugarcane, and in order to get leather, I'd need to commit crimes against the local wildlife. But after running for not too long, I had to fight this skeleton in a puddle, and I got my sugarcane. I quickly made a crafting table and put it down right then and there, because who's gonna go back all the way to New Greece for a crafting table? I mean, come on. Picked up the sugarcane, and I had half of my book, which was the paper. And I started eyeing up this horse who voluntarily decided to donate some of his sustainably produced leather and then I crafted a book in the weirdest way possible. Now it is time to enchant. Now this time around I didn't really get high level enchantments but then again I didn't have a high level enchantment table. But, but I got pretty lucky though, I got protection on all of my gear and unbreaking and sharpness and efficiency and those kind of little, little good things on my tools. So overall, pretty good. Then I realized I was running out of food, so I went over to the plentiful farms of New Greece and started chopping. Young impersonable kids watching, remember, as you sow, so shall you reap. And in the future I wanted to reap wheat. So, so that's what I sowed, I, I put the seeds back is what I'm saying. But now the time has come. I hopped into the portal with enchanted gear, a full belly, and a heart with just enough confidence to make me go to the nether and not stay back in the overworld. It, I, I, I really don't like the nether, it's uncomfortable. At this point in time, something monumental happened. I added the quark mod to the series, and so the stalactites started to generate. But the sad, horrendous thing about them is like unlike the better nether mod, I can't pick them up. But fortunately with the quark mod, what I can do is cry my problems away just like the real world. I saw these giant spikes sticking out of lava and I thought like any normal person, hey look at that, murder spikes coming out of death juice. Time to spelunk. I, I don't know if I used that word right, but, but I went over them and it was a horrible idea. But in trying to get a glowing block that was on one of the biggest spikes, I, I got shot at from the blazes that it apparently spawned in to protect itself. For then, I just kind of gave up on that little block because it, it wasn't worth getting shot at over and over again and losing all my food and all my durability. But the nether rewarded me with another structure. Something else amazing that I found out was that I could place blocks underneath the block I was standing on using the quark mod, which was very useful in trying to staircase my way down to the little pyramid temple thing. Now this thing was a replica of the overworld jungle temples, but it was made out of evil blocks. It was all black and blood red and stuff. But I know these things, these things have booby traps. 
Though I treaded carefully, took out the redstone, removing the trip wires, making sure I don't get hit, I very carefully snuck my way to one of the corridors with a treasure chest. I took out the tripwire hook, but lava poured out and it hit me, and then I was in pain, and I was kind of panicking, I thought I would be okay, but then this moron walked over the tripwire hook and it hit me with a poisoned arrow, and it, it was just was a horrendous time in my life. Then I was able to successfully take down the trap, and I opened up the dispenser and I actually took the poisoned arrows, because those, those would come in clutch later, those are like crazy rare like no one even makes poison t no, those were instant harming those are even better in the treasure chest i found some like enchanted swords which were pretty nice i went around the temple and opened other treasure chests as well those ones also had enchanted swords usually enchanted gold and stone swords would be just absolutely worthless but this time they had new modded enchants on them so i wanted to see what they did but then something crazy happened, I found this bastion looking thing, it wasn't a bastion, but I found two golem looking things, but they had wither skeleton skulls. And I have never looted anything so fast in my entire life. Two wither skeleton skulls, just out there, in the open. Who would have thought? So got attacked by this crazy looking fire fox. I just realized that fun works, but, but it did try to completely burn me though. That wasn't okay. But I wanted to loot this outpost thing. Now how do we do that? Because there were brutes and other palins everywhere. So what I did was strategize. Strategy was simple. There was a cliff near the outpost. Build up, climb on the cliff, jump down onto the bastion like a completely godlike human being. Also saw like a big creepy koala thing hanging down from a wall. But then I killed a ghast. And I killed the gas in one shot because of those friggin' arrows that came in clutch from the temple. Those things are just wonderful. Then I got back to my plan, built up, got on top of the cliff, started looking down on the outpost. And before I jumped down, I realized I had the element of range. So instead of jumping down like a completely amazing person, I just shot them all like a semi-amazing person. <laughs> But after taking them all out, and after only a harmless delinquent was left on top, I finally jumped down and blocked off the exits. Or rather, the entrances. I left the child alone though, what's he gonna do, become like a nether pig batman? Actually, that sounds horrifying. But in the chests, I found some cool swords. Again, new enchants. But then I started to build around the outpost because they had a really nice banner. Like, like a really, really nice banner. Like, unique new banners that come with unique new structures are just the greatest things I've ever seen. And I kept treading on, and I found a soul sand valley. And there I found a massive Tifu symbol. <laughs> and uh, then I gathered up the Tifu symbol because the bone blocks are really good for farming. Then again, took down two casts with the crazy arrows. You, you know, I read a comment after I'd recorded what you're looking at, but before I recording what you're listening to, that you can actually train the foxhounds. I would just completely obliterate them when they came close to me. I, I will tame one later, I assure you. Then I came across a little bit of a warp patch where I found this big frog. The frog reminded me only of one thing. Out out there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> After playing around with the frog, I came to what I was searching for, the fortress, which I will invade in the next episode. But for now, I must speak of another problem. Something that is coming on the 100th day of this very series, there will be an invasion, an invasion of New Greece. They will come, the villagers, they will invade New Greece with a massive army and it is my job now to become stronger and to assist the help of the mobs because he is coming.